Hi. Well, <laughs> I finally took the plunge, and after the longest gap between release and my actually seeing it, of any Batman or Superman film released in my lifetime, I've finally seen the two-hour theatrical cut of Justice League. And by this point, you probably know what the story is, that um, Batman and Wonder Woman uh, join together with uh, Aquaman and The Flash to resurrect Superman from his death at the end of Batman vs. Superman The Lord of Justice, and together work to uh, prevent an alien invasion and the destruction of the Earth by the evil um, alien overlord Steppenwolf and his army of parademons. There's been the four-hour version of the movie uh, released recently on um, pay-per-view and on uh, the digital rental. I haven't watched it. I've no intention of doing so. I'll, I'll get into why shortly. But I thought I would finally give the theatrical version my time. Um, and <laughs> it will surprise no one when I say that all the previous DCEU films, apart from the first Wonder Woman, have been on my list in the bottom half of the year. And so is Justice League. It's terrible. Um, it's massively truncated. It's clearly far too short. Plot is verging on the incoherent. And the characterization is appalling. We're introduced to several major new characters. Aquaman has never previously appeared. The Flash has never previously appeared. I realise, in fact, despite having two moderately long-running TV shows, I've never actually seen The Flash before. Um, and I don't like him. Um, he's too quippy. And um, another problem with the film is that it just doesn't have a, a balance of tones. It's grey and gloomy, and then sometimes there's there's a lot of quippy dialogue and Batman seems to be trying out material for the comedy store. Um, the characters are sort of introduced very bluntly and there's there's no arc to anything. There's no arc for Batman. There's no arc for Wonder Woman. There's no development over the course of the story because everything is cut down to the absolute bone. The film clocks in at one second under two hours, which is very obviously a contractual arrangement. Um, and the, the film is just a complete mess. The visual effects are terrible. The CGI is uh, incredibly conspicuous. Uh, Steppenwolf himself looks like a character from a video game from 10 years earlier. It looks awful. The whole film is just a complete mess. And there's really nothing more that you can say about it. Um, it's well known what the, what the background is, that um, uh, that Zack Snyder, the original director, uh, had, I think, completed filming and then um, he suffered a family tragedy and had to step away from the movie. The studio brought in Joss Whedon uh, from his success doing the first two Avengers movies to supervise post production. He instead reshot a large chunk of the movie, very obviously on studio orders, because it wouldn't have happened otherwise, obviously. Um, and cut down massively, rewrote the script, and the resulting sort of weird hybrid Frankenstein creature um, wound up being this two-hour cut of the movie that's a complete, you know, not, not unwatchable, but certainly borderline incoherent and shoddily slapped together mess. Um, is the Snyder cut any better? Well, I don't know, because I'm not going to watch it. Um, Snyder is a director who has a reputation, as far as I can see, of making mostly bad films. He has a hard core of extremely vocal and highly obnoxious fans, whom I have no interest in associating with because they don't really understand how storytelling works or how films work. They think that his previous work is actually not absolutely awful. But I've seen the three-hour cut of Batman vs Superman, and it's just longer. There's no additional material to it that, that jumps out as giving it extra depth or complexity or intelligence. There's just more of it. Uh, you would gain the same amount, I think, from playing the theatrical cut slightly, sl slightly more slowly. So a four-hour cut of Justice League, um, presented in 4 by 3 for no particular reason and colour-graded to miserable-looking grey, along with the dour, grim adolescent tone that most of uh, uh, Snyder's films aim for is immensely unappealing. Aside from all the problems with the theatrical cut, 
the foundation of the project is deeply flawed. Snyder's work has always been about the fetishization of strength and power. You look at 300, you look at his bastardization of Watchmen, you look at his previous uh, Batman, Superman films, they're all about how those who have strength and power are simply better than normal people and don't deserve to be bound by the same rules. They're not about heroics, they're about war. Uh, Bruce Wayne says that he's looking for warriors to fight Steppenwolf, not heroes to save the earth. It's about fighting, it's not about doing the right thing. And this, I can only imagine, is turned up to the nth degree in the uh, extended version of Justice League, just as it is in Man of Steel, in which Batman murders the villain because he can't think of anything else to do because the writing is very poor. Batman versus Superman, where both Batman and Superman are murdering people, and you're hoping that they'll just kill each other um, and protect the rest of humanity with their own deaths. I don't like Zack Snyder's films. I find them ethically repellent. Um, this tries to get around it by diluting it with Joss Whedon's typical work. And I'm not going to go get into all the allegations about Joss Whedon, because clearly that's another matter. And those <laughs> have become uh, very serious. And he's clearly someone who needs to have his career severely curtailed. But his previous work is much lighter and quippier in tone, and the two don't mesh at all. Um, there doesn't seem to be any attempt at creating a coherent film out of Justice League, simply salvaging a project that the studio didn't think was workable. And then after the fans went berserk, um, trotted out the absolute acme of what they would want, which is four hours of unwatchable garbage from everything that I've heard. So this film's terrible. I can't imagine any other version of it being any better. And I'm glad that I don't have to endure this kind of garbage anymore, because now that the Snyder iteration of the DC characters has been shut down, um, we can get back to Batman and Superman acting like heroes again, rather than insane sociopaths um, trying to decide how many people they can murder before the Earth authorities decide to do away with them. Um, it's not a good film, but it could have been so much worse.